This is a song that I wrote after a very traumatic experience. I was going home on an airplane and I had a long layover, like eight hours to sit in the airport. That's a long time to sit in the airport. I'm sitting there for eight hours. Going, what am I going to do for eight hours? Maybe I'll have some lunch. Okay, there's seven hours left. Maybe I'll, oh, there's a friend of mine. I'll talk to him for an hour. Okay, that's six hours left. Check the internet. You know, there's five hours left. Five hours? I lost track of time. And finally I realized, oh my goodness, my plane it leaves in like 20 minutes. I ran up. And I got to where the plane was, and it said, oh, actually, your plane isn't here. You have to take, like, this other tram and could go across the way. And, and I ended up being three seconds late. <laughs> and you know what they do when you're three seconds late? They close the door, and they say, you can't get on the plane, sir. You're three seconds late. You're, you're a horrible person. And I, and I, felt, I felt like a horrible person. And I felt very horrible and terrible and sad and frustrated. And I wanted to go home so much. And I said, can't you open the door? Just three seconds. You could, you could open it. He said, no, sir, it's the rule. You can't go on the plane. You're three seconds late. And so I sunk to the ground, and I started to moan and cry. Oh, I'm just going to go home, please. And the woman said, no, no, you can't, can't go home ever. You know, I said, oh, no, I want to go home. And she wouldn't let me. But she said, sir, you need to calm down. And I thought, she's right, but I couldn't. I kept going, oh, please. And she said, sir, you need to calm down. And finally, I calmed down. And when I got home, finally, on the next flight, I wrote a song called, Sir, You Need to Calm Down, by Keith G. Sharp. It was something like this. Mm -hmm. like, Sir, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. You need to calm down, sir. Sir, you need to calm down. You need to calm down. You need to calm down, sir. So that was my song, Sir, You Need to Calm Down. And then, uh, but I needed another part. You, you have to have more than one part for a song. So I wrote the next part was Batman. You can't use the whole thing because that's Batman. So you can only maybe use a little part of it. So I, I used the Batman part. And I put my own riff in between. I'm like, so that's, now I got something that you know, sounds like my song. And I thought, well, I'd still need more. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll play a chord, like a Led Zeppelin chord. You know? Something like that. But maybe I'll, I'll do it with my own melody. And then, you know, move it up to another key just for fun. So there's only, I just need one thing. I need, need like a good, strong melody. So I, I stole a melody from myself. I had an old song called I'm Not Afraid of the Police. It went to like, uh, Let's sing a little. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of broken glass. It's that sort of thing. But of course, that's, that's too high for me to sing. And it's even another key. So, so I decided to play it on guitar. Well, that's pretty cool. I can put that in there. Only one thing. Now, this is on a major key. If you play a major key, you get the major key I so watch my eyebrow. Yeah. That's, that's, that's too long for a major key eyebrow. I need a, maybe another eyebrow, like a minor key eyebrow at the end. So this is what I did. I did major. And minor. So you get a minor key eyebrow. The two eyebrows has a better balance to it. So that now you know everything you need for a story you need to calm down. That's why I wrote the song. And we're going to start off with just some, some crazy guitar playing in C sharp minor. Mm -hmm. 